Alrighty guys, what is going on? I don't know where I might put this in my video. I don't even have a freaking layout yet for this video. I got my bumper off and we are throwing on the splitter, the GT500 splitter for my car. This GT500 splitter that you see right here, it's not even on yet, but this one is from Ford. But I got two piece. Um, I got another one that's just sitting back here. It's from eBay. It is not from Ford, it's from eBay. Um, coincidentally, I did not know that they were gonna match up. Maybe if you guys are wondering what hardware you need, I got right here a 1 uh, quarter by 20 millimeter head bolt right here. This is what you're gonna need, a head bolt. And then you're also gonna need this quarter by 20 speed nut, which is what this is called as well. Um, simply because this bolt is just gonna thread into the speed nut and then all you gotta do is twist it down and it locks tight. I recommend going to Ace Hardware because they are freaking cheap at like advanced auto or auto zone those things are like five four dollars five dollars simply for like two of them you probably seen yourself spend about 20 25 bucks um at ace hardware now if you were to get all these things from advanced auto or auto zone you probably see yourself spending probably about 40 some bucks all right now we put the bumper face down on the ground and if you can imagine yourself um just under your car if you don't want to take your bumper off um and once you get under there this is probably what it's gonna look like a little bit underneath these freaking holes right here there's 12 of them there's one right here two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve throw on your speed nut uh like this thing right here this speed nut right here no boom just like so so it can line up because there's holes in the bumper as well guys as you can see there's holes in the bumper as well the bumper will eventually line up like that there's one hole right there two holes you know, there's 12 holes so then you could obviously bolt in if everything gets tight i won't be able to throw in my speed nuts right here so throw in all your speed nuts put them in place first and then go ahead and put your head bolts down right in place and then i would recommend getting 12 of these things um i would recommend getting 12 and just putting them in place even if you don't have like 12 bolts i recommend getting 12 of these and pop these in place so then if you do decide to get the extra bolts to go on you can just literally go underneath your car and just freaking screw these things in i got another splitter right here um it's not the oem from four like i said it's from ebay it's only one piece it's not three piece i think the three piece gt500 uh comes with the spoiler this is only one piece it serves as a three piece though because you still got the freaking bottom lip right here and yes i painted this thing and all but um yeah i'm in a rush right now so i'm gonna continue this thing in the next clip which is gonna be a next day now we got the second bottom of the splitter um from ebay this point going to here this point here this point here this point here it matches up coincidentally for this splitter right here we're gonna have to drill holes because it looks like there's a hole in there but the hole's not there we got to drill a hole from the bottom i don't even got a damn drill but that's what we're gonna have to do i thought i was gonna have to screw it in some way somehow but as you flip this up it's gonna go in like that and if you drill a hole in and it's gonna go all the way up and then it's gonna fit into that speed nut right there so let me make a quick run to the store buy a drill and shit i'm surprised i don't even have a drill yet through all working out through all these cars and shit all right 200 later i done freaking got a dewalt drill you know i had to get i was in the freaking store for like an hour doing debating should i get this drill or this drill freaking home depot got a dewalt pretty good brand um got a pack right here of drill bits you know everything that basically comes with what i need um so i mean i'll be using it for the future and i will never have to get a drill again now yeah you get the gist all right now that we got all bolts all these holes drilled now we're just gonna take this splitter the bottom end and put it into the grooves and then just repeat the process throw the screws back right on through the bottom and boom we'll be all done as you can see it is very bright outside it is currently the next day i got these bolts right in now this lip it came with screws it came with like six screws i did not use the screws i used the bolts that i just showed y'all in the, in the video um the head bolts and the speed nuts they work very well with this all right guys we just threw this freaking front splitter on and i can say man front splitters is just you go from zero to 100 real quick real quick real quick damn bro look at that damn fucking gt 500 front end we got on this beast bro rudini is coming together man rudini is coming in hot look at that thing right there bro I think I might have the best GT500 front end in the game, man, in the town. The best Mustang front end in town with the paint match, outside skirt of the lip, whip the car, and just kill the whole look. 
even adding a spoiler on this thing kills the look either way it goes but just adding that little touch up right there gosh it just freaking makes this car look so damn sharp and so damn clean let's get another outside look outside look man link in description link in description now this bottom piece like i said is from ebay it should be way cheaper than the ford oem um gt500 spoiler um and it's only one piece because like i said i think the ford oem gt500 spoiler comes with three piece and the install should be similar if you do have the three piece and if you do get the three piece you also get the outer edge that you can also if you're interested going into the paint shop and paint it as well but man oh man this thing is on point killing it remember how i said when um ebay splitter was like plastic basically i can't even see in the camera you can barely you can barely tell man the difference of the quality is barely even noticeable if not noticeable at all i mean honestly you won't even notice it at all won't even notice it at all um the quality you can i can tell like by the texture of the ford oem splitter right here very durable but the ebay one you can definitely scratch this thing up a lot now that the car is lower and that you get this little lower chin lip you can definitely got you definitely got to be careful for that man you definitely got to be careful because um you're going to be hitting some bumps and you don't want to scratch that thing up down there since it's very weak Let's go take a look at this uh, this lip in another environment, man. Let's get another uh, background, a little scenery, so I can get some more on. This freaking GT500 front grill looks phenomenal. Like I said, the first, this upper lip right here is from Ford. Uh, basically the upper lip you get from Ford. But the bottom lip right here, which is another like whole one piece, I got it from eBay. And yes, we are on a new lens right now. I just picked up a new lens for filming, so it might look a little bit weird. It might be like really close. I hope you guys like this look. I mean, of course you gotta like this look, man. This thing look damn beast, man. Killing the game. Like I said, we gotta put the side markers in next. My GT500 wing is actually coming on next. I took it off. I'm in the midst of this video. I'm in the midst of that video. It's gonna be coming for the next vid. GT500 conversions all day. If tune in, if you are looking to install a lot of GT500 stuff. I just installed, I just did a video install of the GT500 LED fog lights. If you missed that video, go check it out. It was the last video. Now we installing the grill. Next is gonna be a GT500 wing. Then we're gonna put the side markers on. I cannot stop looking at this thing, man. Without further ado, if you are new to the channel, make sure you do not forget to subscribe, like the video, comment down below. We got more things coming in plan, man. We gone.